The Magic Mirror Once upon a time, in the beautiful streets of Granada, there was but a single chatter heard. Who oh, would a sad thing? Such a handsome man, but no ring? Oh my, will he never choose a wife? Women in Granada not worth. Tell me, honey, will he be lonely? All his life? No, no! Say not these fearful words, for he deserves a partner, and we the queen! Let's all pray for our beloved king. Let his beautiful, beautiful bride now be seen. <sighs> our king is a generous man. I am sure he is waiting for the right woman. But who the right woman for our king is? That indeed was the question that bothered everybody in Granada. Uh, Your Majesty, any woman would be lucky to have you as her groom. I don't want a woman who is lucky. The woman who I shall marry will be the Queen of Granada. She has to have a strong character. She must have enough love for herself and my entire kingdom. She has to be forgiving and kind. But, Your Majesty, how will we know if the woman has all these qualities? Oh, that's the problem. I will only marry a woman who has no dark spots on her heart. Um, we can ask for her medical report. What? Duncan, I don't mean real dark spots. I mean, she must have a clean heart. Oh, <laughs> of course, I knew that. We would need something magical to, to help us out here. The king was indeed troubled. We would need something, something magical to help us out here. He made up his mind and summoned his trusted barber, Emilio, to the palace the next day. Emilio, I need your help. Huh? Tell me, Emilio, what happens to a kingdom that doesn't have a queen? Why would you ask such a question, madame? Well, why shouldn't I? Our king is nowhere near choosing a wife for himself. Oh well, choosing a wife for him is going to be a trouble for me. How do you mean? Hey. <sighs> After waiting for years together, the king has finally decided to use the magic mirror. The magic mirror? Yes. You see, I have a magic mirror which I had found in the caves a years back. Only the king knew about it, and he trusted me with it for all these years. Now, he wants me to use it to help him find the perfect bride. Will it show who the bride is and where she is right now? Does it show the future? No, none of these things. What it does is shows the true character of the one looking into it. If you don't have a clean heart, then as soon as you look into the mirror, your face will show spots. The king has decided to marry the perfect woman. The only one who looks into the magic mirror without getting spots. So, only the rich and educated women can have a look, right? There is no criteria as to who can look in the mirror. The only condition is that the woman must look in the mirror. The news spread like wildfire. Every day, women used to gather outside the barber's shop only to see which woman would dare to look in the magic mirror. Days passed, and yet nobody entered. Women began to grow their hair longer and longer, only to avoid going to the barber. 
The fathers in Granada were unhappy with their daughters. Fiona, why don't you try? And I have boils all over my beautiful face? No can do, father. So you don't think you have a clean heart? Um, no. I mean, yes. I, I mean, oh, father. I have actually decided to never get married. What? That's right. I will live with you for the rest of my life. Oh, I love you, Faza. Surprisingly, Fiona was not the only one to have suddenly taken an oath to never get married. The women in Granada would rather stay single for the rest of their lives than take the test to marry the king. Some women, in fact, were so scared that they refused to look into their normal mirrors, too. The fear of boils didn't stop there. Some women were reported to have stopped using spoons, with the fear to even mistakenly see their reflection. Oh, <laughs> I would rather eat with my hands. But madam, these are noodles. Oh, who cares? I love to eat noodles with my hands. Look at me. <laughs> As no woman stepped into the barber's shop, he would only cut men's hair now. Tell me, has no woman dared to look into the mirror? Uh, no, sir. That's terrible. For how long should I not get married? What? Why are you not getting married? Well, even I would want to marry a perfect woman. <sighs> this is terrible. Are these qualities so hard to find? Will I never find a bride? Uh, your Majesty, uh, there is a one woman I know about. She will definitely not shy away from looking into the magic mirror. But uh, she's... Uh... Who? Tell me. A shepherdess. Emilio, are you out of your mind? A shepherdess will be the queen of Granada? How dare you? Why can't a shepherdess be the queen? If she has the qualities fit to be the queen, then her being born in a shepherd's family should not stop her. Remember, Duncan, true leaders are often from humble backgrounds. Emilio, go find her and bring her to me. That day, when the shepherdess was to be brought to the palace, was the most awaited in Granada. The news had reached all, and everybody crowded the palace. There were murmurs and doubts everywhere. Did you hear about the shepherdess? I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. The shepherdess entered cautiously. She was scared and nervous to see so many people assembled in the palace. Please, don't worry, my lady. Tell me, aren't you worried to look into the magic mirror? Are you aware what it would do? If you have made mistakes in your past and you don't have a clean heart, your face will show spots. Um... I understand, Your Majesty, but I believe that making mistakes is being human. We all make mistakes. I am sure I've made many mistakes and taken some terrible decisions. But I have learnt from my mistakes. I am still learning and always will. I am not ashamed of my flaws. I accept them. It makes me stronger. Saying thus, the shepherdess bowed to the king and stepped in front of the mirror. As everyone peeped, the palace was in awe. Those blue eyes and fair skin of the shepherdess looked absolutely flawless in the reflection. She stepped away to look at the king, only to find him staring lovingly at her. Granada has found its queen. Granada has found its queen. The palace rejoiced, but then there came a shrewd voice. Wait a second. 
I demand to see the mirror right now. I can prove that there was never any magic in it. It's all a lie. Deal is a deal. We gave everyone a fair chance to look into the mirror. But none of you had confidence in yourselves to do it. Whether the mirror had magical powers or not is history now. You should have looked into it when you had the chance. You are right, Your Majesty. I apologize on my daughter's behalf. My queen, I will never forget what you said. We should not hide our mistakes from ourselves, but must accept them and learn from them. Once we forgive ourselves, we can easily accept others' mistakes and forgive them too. Only then will we have clean hearts, and your heart is truly the cleanest of all. Granada is honored to have you as its queen. King was happy to have found the perfect bride. Their marriage ceremony was one of the grandest Granada had ever seen. People danced and rejoiced to have found a strong-willed and generous queen. And as for the magic mirror, no one would ever know if there really was magic in it. For the best kind of magic lies in our own heart. The End